Did you guys know that in 2010, a guy named Laszlo bought two pizzas for over $400 million in crypto? What? That's not really true, Gus. Okay, you're right. Technically, in 2010, it was about $41. But today, it's worth over $400 million. For pizza? Well, he paid with Bitcoin. Actually, 10,000 Bitcoin. Bit what? Bitcoin. You know, the most popular cryptocurrency in the world. Crypto what? Crypto. Things like Bitcoin, Ethereum, Solana, Cardano, SHIB, Dogecoin. You know, crypto. Oh, I have no idea what you're talking about. What is crypto? Actually, a lot of people don't understand crypto. So we're going to learn all about it in this video. I still don't understand why that pizza costs so much. Bye. <sighs> Cryptocurrencies, otherwise known as crypto, are digital tokens. They are not actual physical coins or cash like you keep in your wallet or maybe even your piggy bank. Crypto is a type of digital money that allows people to make payments directly to each other through a system online. And it's online, that's why it's digital money. And crypto was set up to allow person-to-person -person trades without the need to actually use banks. Hey, guess what? Did you know that cryptocurrencies have no value set by law? Crypto is really only worth what people are willing to pay for them in the market. So how many cryptocurrencies are there? Good question. That's actually a really good question. And the best way to describe this is like this. There are many different currencies in the world today, such as the United States dollar, Japanese yen, euros, and many more. There are also many different cryptocurrencies, and new cryptocurrencies are being created all the time. In fact, there are thousands, but one of the most well-known is called Bitcoin. At the time of this video, Bitcoin is the world's largest cryptocurrency. And there's also other popular cryptos such as Ethereum, Ripple, Bitcoin Cash, Cardano, and Litecoin. And the prices of many cryptocurrencies can go up and down, kind of like a roller coaster. For example, the price of Bitcoin was around $1,000 at the start of 2017 to over $68,000 in November of 2021. Wow, that's a huge difference. And because crypto is fairly new and can go up and down so much, the future of cryptocurrencies will probably depend on how well they can work with the users instead of electronic payments like regular bank transfers. So you may be wondering, is crypto here to stay? Another great question, Quinn. One thing for sure is this. The foundations of the technology known as blockchain, well, that's definitely here to stay. So what is blockchain? You're asking a lot of really good questions today, Quinn. And maybe some of you too are thinking this. So what is blockchain? Well, blockchain is a way of recording crypto transactions and is still very new. In fact, it's being compared to the way the internet was in the early 1990s. Yep, that's how old the internet is. So let's quickly talk about the most valuable crypto at the time of this video, which is Bitcoin. Bitcoin was launched in 2009 and was designed to allow person-to-person -person trades without the need to know or trust the other person in the transaction or require a bank. Bitcoin also uses the blockchain technology to record transaction and who owns the Bitcoin. And again, blockchain technology connects bunches of transactions known as blocks together over time in a chain. Every single time a trade happens, it forms part of a new block that is added to the chain. Get it? Blockchain! Wow. <laughs> and this causes the blockchain 
to provide a record or database of every single crypto transaction that has ever happened. And this information is available for anyone to see, as well as update on a public network called the Distributed Ledger. And crypto is protected by something called cryptography. Cryptography is a method of scanning and securing data using very difficult mathematical codes. And this is what makes the system very, very hard to hack or destroy. All crypto transactions are confirmed by other users of the network. And the process of checking and confirming transactions is referred to as mining. Miners want to solve the codes and process transactions because they are rewarded with new crypto coins. Hey, guess what? Did you know that there are only 21 million bitcoins in total that can be mined? And that is why they are so valuable. The number of new Bitcoins that are created per year is automatically split over time until the total number mined reaches 21 million. That's right, Gus. And at the time of this video, people estimate that this should happen in the year 2024. Currently, more than 75% of all Bitcoins that will ever exist have already been mined. And even though millions have already been mined, an unknown number of Bitcoin have been lost forever due to people throwing out or losing their hard drives or even websites shutting down. Something that is important to know is that cryptocurrencies use what is called decentralized control. Decentralized control means crypto is not controlled by one person or government. This is different from centralized control, which is electronic money and is controlled by central banks. Crypto also uses something called a public key. And a public key is what shows the ownership of that crypto coin or crypto coins and is very similar to an ID number. For example, say someone wanted to send you Bitcoin. The only thing you need to do is give them your Bitcoin address. And this is a version of your public key that is easier to send to a person. For example, if Simon has one Bitcoin and his address is 123ABC and you have no Bitcoins at your Bitcoin address, 456XYZ, Simon can send half a Bitcoin to 456XYZ. So as soon as the transaction is processed, Simon and you now have a half of a Bitcoin each. And anyone using the system can see how much each address has. But they do not know the person who owns the address. There's also something called a private key. So in the example we just used, 123ABC and 456XYZ are the Bitcoin addresses of Simon and you, but you both have a second key which only you know. This is the private key and this is the other half of the full crypto address. And this private key is never shared and allows the owner of the crypto coins to manage them. You always want to keep this private key a secret. Everyone in a crypto network is considered a peer and every address is created the same way and is completely equal one way or the other. Every transaction or trade can only take place from peer to peer, but there now are a number of sites that make these transactions easier. And these websites are called exchanges. 
Exchanges offer tools for dealing with cryptocurrency. Some exchanges allow you to purchase crypto coins from external accounts, and others allow trading with other cryptography-based currencies like Bitcoin, for example. Many of these exchanges also provide a wallet service. And because anyone can have as many addresses as they want, these wallets are a convenient way to keep track of all of the user's public and private addresses in one simple place. And even though crypto is all done on a computer, you can think of a crypto wallet the same way as a regular wallet. It holds all of this information in an easy place, just like a real wallet would. I want one of those wallets. So as you can see, crypto is really cool but it's also a strange type of currency. And even though it may seem confusing, as time moves on and technology changes, crypto and the blockchain will become more and more useful over time. Well, hey, guess what? Now we all know a little bit more about crypto. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to smash that thumbs up button. It really helps out our channel. It sure does. Make sure to subscribe. Bye. Bye.